my 2003 Honda Element. That's dumb. My 2003 Honda Element. I have neglected this thing probably two years because at one point I was driving the Cayenne for a while, Mercedes, and this was my daily driver for so many years and it just kind of sent because I really didn't have any room for it. Things have changed. I have a house now and I'm bringing this back to Little Rock where it right with Lee deserves to be. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to go through, check all the fluids. As you see, it's kind of disgusting on the inside. Just layers of dust everywhere. I'm going to give it a good thorough wipe down uh mainly just making sure it's road ready i know this motor is going to need to go and have a good old-fashioned italian tune-up it's doing pretty well for sitting obviously uh, all the fluids look good uh, a little low on oil but that's kind of natural it does have a leak in the back from the vtex solenoid i know i got a lot of people who signed up and follow me just for you for element stuff and i'm gonna let everybody down so this is kind of my redemption to that too and i need i need something to haul stuff i need i need the cargo room i need to be able to put a dresser in the back, a haul uh, cardboard. I need just some kind of utility vehicle to do that. And you know, Hannah's got a Rogue, but you really can't do that kind of stuff without messing it up. And this thing is built for it. So I'm gonna do that. And I'll kind of take you guys along the journey of what I'm doing here and what I plan on doing with this thing in the future. Wildly, this thing is 20 years old. I, actually, no wait, 2024, it's 21 years old now. This thing can actually drink. Crazy to me that this is a 20 year old Honda now. <laughs> You know, this in my mind, this is still five years old, 10 years old, not 21 years old. But it's a 2003 and it's designed in the 90s, built in the O's, still looks great today. I, I love this thing. I want to really, really do this thing justice this year, clean it up and really make it a, a, back to where it really needs to be, back to its glory days. This thing I've been meaning to do for a little while. I'm gonna get out of the way. I replaced this terminal with a uh, better clamp a while back. This is still has that factory really thin, cheap crap. I don't really like, if you bend it too many times, it just breaks. This bolt's all rusted up, so you can't really tighten it down the way you want it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that right quick. <clears throat> the ratchet straps the battery down. Uh, still better than Melee. I hope somebody heard that. replaced. Got all the crap out of it. You can see the uh, dents of the hail a little better. Doesn't look too bad. The wheels need to be cleaned up. It's riding pretty good, except for I think it's got a flat spot in the tires from sitting so long. But besides that, I feel pretty good about it. I, I miss this thing. Kind of anxious about driving it back to Little Rock. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I think it's going to be all right. Miss this whole thing. Yeah, right across the Honda dealership. Well, I made it back to uh, Little Rock. Kind of looks good sitting in the driveway next to the old Mercedes. Actually, you guys don't even know about this yet. Don't worry about that. Don't look at that. That's it's coming in a video soon. <laughs> I'm working on. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. No, the it looks good here. Drove well. I think there was a flat spot on the tires just from it sitting, so I had a little bit of wub wub the whole way here. But I think it kind of worked out. There's still a little bit there, and I'm pretty sure it just has to be a flat spot on the tires because uh, everything else is fine. I mean, I've never never had that problem before, and the tires were kind of low when it when it's parked. I think they were like probably like 17 psi all the way around so they lost a little air yeah, i think just from sitting so everything was good enzo had a good time sleeping in the back like he used to i uh, did well so uh that's probably gonna do it for now it's back it's here uh i do have some different ideas for some new wheels 
I love these. I think they look good, but it's kind of goofy having two 75s in the rear and a 235s at front or what are these? 245, 245 and 275. I think it's kind of weird having that on the element. Those are the factory sizes that came on the Corvette. So I thought that'd be sick to put on there and they do look fucking amazing. I love the way it looks. But I have another wheel in mind that I've had in mind for a little bit. And I may do that because dad was thinking about buying these to put on the Toyota, which would be sick. But that's a, for a whole other story. Trying to get back to work on some CRX stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Goodbye.